The auditorium has its own camera now, so we can go ahead and capture concerts and other events there for teachers as a teaching tool. This is it. It's a Canon. It's a nice little machine. We have it attached to a tripod, so you can set it right on the audio deck. Works out great. One of the things that you need to know right away, right there, that port, that's where you plug the charger in. So that's where you plug it into the wall. And you're going to want to do that. Don't use battery power because if the battery gets old or it gets weak halfway through a performance, it's going to go blank. Here's a couple of other very important things you need to know. Something else that's really important is knowing where the SD card goes. You can record on the internal hard drive on the camera, but that's a lot more difficult than just using the card. The card is hidden behind this door right here. So you flip, opens, closes. And if you push on it, the card pops out. But the strange thing is this card goes in at an angle, and I've never seen something like that before, so don't be surprised. It doesn't go straight in, it's at an angle. And the label goes towards the front of the camera, some or the other way, but this label towards the front of the camera, put it in, gently push it until it clicks, close the door. Simple. And something else important about this camera is it's going to get used and unfortunately probably abused sometimes. It's got some protection here, right here on the switch on the side. Like away from the screen on the other side, there's a little switch here. Closes the lens, keeps it from getting scratched when you're not using the camera. So hopefully when you get the camera out of the bag, it looks like that. Go on this side, open it up, and then you can see. The camera will flag you if it's closed. This camera also has two inputs that are very, very important. This one right here, that's where the jack goes to plug this camera into the audio board, and doing that will give you much better audio. This next hole here, that's for the jack for the headphones, because you really want to listen to it and make sure that your audio levels are good. So this is where you plug your camera into the audio board. This is where you plug your headsets in. Here's the screen you're going to see when you first turn on the camera. This is really important because what you need to do every time if you're going to shoot a concert is to change the video level so the kids aren't way overexposed. Here's how you do it. There's the touch screen. Sometimes it's touchy, so if you hit it and it doesn't change, touch it again. This house, touch the house. Now it gives you a bunch of different options here. The option you want is the next one here, the camera and the gear. We're going to touch that and see it didn't take. So I'm going to go backwards and I'm going to touch it again. And there it is. The camera with the gear, when it's lit, touch it again. Now it gives you different things you can change. What we want to change, and the only thing we want to change, is exposure, which is right here. Touch on the exposure, you get a blank screen. Touch in the middle of this. Now it tells you what you want to do with your exposure. By sliding this thing down here, you can, you can underexpose it. You can make it darker, which is exactly what you want in an auditorium setting. And what we're doing, I found the best thing is about minus 2.75. If you set it there, the kids are going to look good. So that's the setting you want. When you turn the camera off and turn it back on, this setting won't be there, so you've got to do it every single time. But if you want the concert to look good, if you want to be able to recognize the faces and they're not all overexposed, that's the setting you want.